Hi, my name is Gary Boss and I'm here with Audio Technica and we're going to teach you how to get the AT2020 USB interfaced into an iPad. The AT2020 USB is a really popular microphone for singer-songwriters, uh, podcasters, and people looking to do voiceovers. And we all know how popular the iPad is. And actually, it's, it's much easier to interface than you might think. The nice thing about the AT2020 USB is it doesn't require any special drivers and it has a very low current consumption which the iPad can power. So the first thing we need to do to be able to get this microphone into this iPad is uh, to get a USB uh, input into the iPad. And uh, lo and behold, it ends up that Apple actually makes one of these, and it's called the Camera Connection Kit. And it looks something like this. Now what Apple intended for this initially was to be able to transfer photos between a camera or video camera into your iPad, but it works perfect as a portal into your iPad. The first thing you want to do is you want to seat it into the connector. Now, the one thing about this that I want to caution is once this goes in, you're not going to be able to power your iPad. So you want to make certain you have a full battery charge before you begin. You don't want to run out of battery in the middle of your session. The next thing I'm going to do is plug my USB cable in from my microphone. And the first thing you're going to notice is the light comes on on the microphone. That means you're powered up and ready to go. Now that we have the microphone plugged in, we're going to open an application. And for this uh, example, we're going to use GarageBand, which is a very popular recording uh, software for the iPad. So we're going to tap the GarageBand icon. And the first thing that's going to come up is an instruments panel. And you're going to be able to swipe back and forth and see some virtual instruments and keyboards and things of that nature. But for this example, what we're doing is we're going to the audio recorder, which has this nice vintage looking microphone icon. We're going to tap that mic microphone icon and you're going to notice a big VU meter and you're also going to notice a big green arrow pointing to the uh, the port on the end of the iPad which indicates that we're using a USB device for our recording. Now if we unplug that microphone we're going to see it switches to a yellow arrow indicating we're using the uh, small miniature microphone that's built into the iPad. One of the benefits of using a third-party microphone like the Audio-Technica 2020 USB is the internal microphone is going to be an omni microphone. So it's going to pick up everything around, all the ambience. And again, for podcasting or if you're looking to record a song or whatnot, uh, you might not want all that ambience. You're going to want more of a personal up-close and uh, up-front mix to your sound. So uh, for this application, we're going right into the USB port. The next thing we're going to do is because this is primarily a loop-based recording software, it has a dedicated recording time. And for, for most people who are going to do a podcast, you don't know how long you're going to speak. So what we're going to do first is go to the puzzle piece, and that's going to give us our song section. We're going to go from eight bars, click that, tap on it, it's going to give us an automatic setting, and we're going to turn that on. Now it's going to record for the length of the time that I speak. We're going to go to the little quarter-inch plug looking icon and for these purposes we're going to have our monitor off and our noise gate off. If I had headphones in here I could turn that monitor on so I could uh, hear if I was like recording over a backing track or whatnot. Then we're going to go to the wrench icon. For this purpose since I'm doing a uh, podcast let's say uh, I don't want to use the metronome so I'm going to take my metronome off but I'm going to give myself a count in and that's that's going to give me a time that will tell me when to start recording and talking. I have a little propaganda sheet that I'm going to read into and at the end of this we're going to fly this audio in so you can actually hear the microphone. So what I want to do is bring my microphone over. I'm going to turn it around and tighten it up and read my copy. I'm going to hit the record button which is the red dot at the top of the screen. I get my count in the new AT2020 USB offers studio quality articulation and intelligibility. It plugs right into your computer's USB port and functions seamlessly with your favorite recording software. Equipped with a USB digital output, the AT2020 USB is perfect for home studio recording, field recording, podcasting, and voiceover use. And now completely uh, compatible with the iPad and GarageBand recording software. Okay, so now we have our track. We can go in and do all the things that you can do in any uh, popular recording software, edit, um, put effects and whatnot. And uh, that's our track. 
The new AT2020 USB offers studio quality articulation and intelligibility. It plugs right into your computer's USB port and functions seamlessly with your favorite recording software. And this was Gary Boss with Audio Technica. I hope this really helped you out and enjoy your recording.